Welcome to Around the House. Today we're going to be replacing the shank nuts on a faucet. And as you can see, I have the water on, so we just will need to go ahead and turn the water off. And then once the water is turned off from below, we just want to go back up and we want to check the hot water and the cold water to make sure that they are both off. This is a picture of the broken shank nut with the next to the new shank nut uh, with and washer. So I'm going to lift up the faucet since there are no shank nuts on here. And then we're going to loosen it from the top. It's a little bit easier. No use doing this from underneath if I don't have to. But if your shank nuts are not broken and you're just replacing the faucet, you will have to do this from underneath of the sink. So I'm going to loosen the hot water and the cold water. I don't have to do the center one because that's the sprayer. The shank nuts only go on the hot and cold of the faucet. If you were replacing the faucet, you would also have to remove the sprayer line. And the new shank nut, first the washer goes on, and then the nut. And I'm just showing you this, it's a little bit easier on top than it is underneath. So when I put it together, I'll have the shank nut together. This is a picture of it. I got this from Home Depot. So now I'll go ahead and put the shank nut on the cold water and the hot water. And if you could take a minute, please like and subscribe to my video. I am in need of subscribers. This is a very simple process. The hardest part of doing all of this is laying underneath of the sink. And even a bathroom faucet would be the same way with the shank nuts underneath. Just a tighter area to work. This hose on the far right, that's the sprayer. You see, you have a visible, visual of what it looks like underneath the sink. So once you get both of the shank nuts fairly tight on the faucet, you want to go up on verify that the faucet is tight. And then once you do, you can tighten both ends back up. To make sure the faucet is secure. And then you're going to install your water lines. It takes a little bit longer because I'm trying to keep my arms from in front of the camera. So the cold water line is tight. Now we're doing the hot. And I'll go ahead and turn on the water. And make sure we don't have any leaks. You can see how tight it is. Cold water works. Hot water works. And we're done.